Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. It's the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of sports, TV, film, pop culture, everything really. Depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. It's one of our exclusive 2020 NHL draft exclusive interviews where we talk to players that will have the chance to possibly have their name called uh, at the NHL draft and be one step closer to playing in the National Hockey League. And my guest, we're speaking to a, a goaltender who spent his junior hockey with the Carlton Place Canadians in the CCHL. And he is currently with in playing NCAA with Northeastern University. We were with Devin Levi. Devin, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. We've been wanting to get this uh, done for a while, but I'm really happy we were able to do this, man. Yeah, same here. You know, we grew up kind of watching, you know, TSN and, of course, in Montreal, AGDS, you know what I mean? But they say the TSN turning point. For you, is it safe to say that the, the World Junior A Challenge was kind of one of those kind of moments where, like, that was kind of a pivotal point in your career last year? A hundred percent. Just the, the the chance to represent my country um, at an international tournament, is it's, it's an experience a lot of, a lot of kids dreamed as. Um, in their childhood, or at least I did. I've always wanted to represent my country, and to be able to play for Team Canada was a great experience. And and uh, the outcome of the tournament was was a pretty good outcome, even though we didn't win. Um, it was still it was still an amazing experience. I'm going to tell you right now, um, and you know, shout out to some of your teammates in that. You know, um, Matt Vermaeten, David LaFrance, Tucker McIntyre, so many. Um, that was that gold that that what a, that was one of the best hockey games I've ever watched, man. That game was nuts. Yeah, it was it was, a, it was an amazing game to play, and the guys the guys we we went to war, and uh, unfortunately we lost, but it was it was an awesome time. But the reason I brought it up right off the bat is because you know everyone knew you were a very good goaltender. Anyone who kind of followed you in the Can uh, the CCHL with Carlton Place Canadians, but I mean. It is safe to say that that was kind of like the big kind of introduction to a lot of other people that didn't maybe know about Devin Levi. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I got my I got my shot in the spotlight at an international level, and I I, I was excited, and I just I just played the game of hockey, the game uh, I've been I've been playing since I was four. The junior Junior hockey is one of those situations where you know. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why certain people go and play in certain leagues. Um, for you, your opportunity to go play for Carlton Place Canadians. I mean, obviously the track record for that organization is next level. You know, they've, they've made a lot of championships, um, a lot of great players as well. Um, but what was kind of the decision for you? Because I understand you were from Donna Desormo in Quebec, played for Lac St. Louis Lions in your midget years. But what was kind of the reason to come to the CCHL and play for Carlton Place Canadians, Devin? I mean, it's it's it definitely started with the uh, Carlton Place Canadians, like, history. Um, they're a winning team, and I wanted to, uh, to be able to contribute to that to that winning identity. Um, and Jason Clark is an amazing coach. He's an amazing guy, and I'm happy that I got to spend a year under his belt and to play for him. Um, that was He was also one of the, the major uh, influences in my decision to go and play for Carlton Place. And also to be able to uh, to just be given a shot to play for Team Canada, um, Team Canada East at the World Junior A Challenge. That 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 also helped uh, make my decision. Absolutely. Um, so I was going to ask about Northeastern. We'll get to that. But now that you brought up the World Junior A Challenge, again, I have to say, I mean, um, big friend of the show, Craig Button um, from TSN, um, says that uh, your performance was impeccable in the World Junior A Challenge, and. I mean, for people that follow, you know, predictions, because there's another, you know, tournament coming up around Christmas time that's pretty important. You know what I mean? The World the world Junior Hockey Championship. And um, it must be pretty cool. I know it's early and, you, and there's a lot of work that has to be done before that, but it's pretty cool that your name is kind of, like, in question a little, like, in that kind of conversation for starting goalies for Team Canada at the World Juniors Hockey Championship. Like you try maybe not to let it sink in, but that's pretty cool to be kind of 
among that that elite company at your age level, Devin? For sure. I mean, it's it's been it's been my dream my whole life to play for the for for Team Canada and the World Juniors. I've been watching them since I was a kid, and uh, to to have my name in the mix in the mix is is definitely an honor. And uh, we'll see what happens. Just gonna keep playing my game, and we'll see uh, what what ends up happening. You're at Northview Eastern um, University right now. You committed to them um, at, at the end of the, I believe. When, when did you officially commit to Northeastern? I committed uh, right after the World Junior Yes, challenge. and it was like one of those things where I think a lot of people were kind of like, "Hey, what's his next move?" Right? Because like we, you knew that like you you like you knew that you were going to eventually go play in college. I remember that because people were talking about the World Junior A Challenge. What do you think is the appeal about going to play? Um, NCAA um, college hockey, Devin. I mean, I feel like the last five years there's been kind of like a boom and a like a popularity increase of a lot of players wanting to go play NCAA. It's always been popular, but I've seen it even become even more popular and a bigger and more decisions to go NCAA. What was the appeal for you, and why did you choose Northeastern? I mean, I grew up watching college hockey and just going going to college and playing hockey has always been a dream of mine. Um, and the reason why, I mean, there were many reasons that went into to my decision to, to play for Northeastern, but one of them, um, I mean, there's there's so many. Uh, coach Coach Maddie and Coach Keefe are unbelievable coaches, and the, the success they've brought to this team is is unreal. And um, even their track record with goalies, Caden Primo, I mean, look what he's doing now. And to be able to, to, to come in after him and to, to be given an opportunity to do what he did is is the, it's the only thing I could ask for. Oh, absolutely. You're playing at Northeastern, and there's some pretty good players that you, you're going to be able to play with. I mean, that Sam Colangelo kid, he's, he's all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing special. <laughs> no, he's a good player. He's a very good player. But what I'm really excited about is you have to understand that, like, being in Ottawa, you know, working at the rinks and everything, you talk like the bead pot. Like, I'm, like, I'm very into the bead pot, like, every year. You know what I mean? Those games are battles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah for have sure. you thought about like i mean that must have been kind of exciting too you know you, you commit to northeastern and then those kind of big games ahead you know what i mean because there's the big you know national championships and everything but the bean pot is also really special and it's a big deal as well the bean pot's huge and i went to watch it last year um i i had the privilege to watch the semi-final game i i watched the final game in carlton place on my tv um but just being in the presence of that tournament and just seeing seeing the atmosphere and just picturing myself playing um in that game uh a year from from then is it it, it fired me up and it got me excited and um, i'm super excited hopefully the bean pot happens this year um it would be devastating if they they ended up canceling it but we'll see what happens it's out of our control absolutely well the nhl draft around the corner i mean it's like the calm before the storm i find it interesting i want your opinion on this because we talked about it with you know your perform your performances with Carlton Place Canadians, the World Junior A Challenge, coming to Northeastern University. You know they use the word like draft stock. Do you find it interesting though? And like, have you talked about this with your family and friends that you and your co and coaches and advisors that your draft stock like like rose like pretty late, but also like pretty quick too? Eh? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like an interesting thing because, you know, um, and I think that that's one of those things that that that's important where, you know, you have those big tournaments, but sometimes a lot of players, um, like it's a lot of pressure, you know what I mean, playing those tournaments. Are you a goaltender that like that prides yourself on thriving under those pressure situations, Devin? I love the pressure. It's I'll play in any environment and I'll, I'll be able to play the same. It's just just playing the game of hockey at the end of the day. And whether it's with 30,000 people watching at the bean pot or in practice, for me, it's all the same. Absolutely. No, it's amazing. Um, it's pretty weird, though, because we are talking about the NHL draft. And usually we'd have this conversation in like June or July, but it is October. For you specifically, how have you been kind of adapting to this like landscape of COVID-19 in terms of, you know, um, all the kind of timing is kind of off with like the training and the season started. I mean, it's been, it's been very strange for a lot of players. Yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely the, the season's delayed. Um, the, 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 how the summer progressed was also a challenge with not knowing if we were going to play, um, not knowing if we were even going to be allowed to leave, um, to go to our teams. 
So it, it was definitely it was definitely a weird uh, past few months. But I mean, just just sticking to it and training and just controlling the controllables is something that I, I base myself off of. And, and that's what I did. So a simple question right now. Why should a National Hockey League team draft Devin Levi? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't give you a, a complete answer right now. I mean, I, I, I have a lot of teams have asked me that and I've gone in, into great depths. But I think that I could be a great asset to a team just on and off the ice. Um, the, the pride that I pride myself on being um, the hardest worker um, on my team. And I think uh, NHL teams uh, like having guys like that as well. And uh, I'm a winner and I just play to win. And all I, all I want to do is win. And I think I think uh, I could provide um, I could be an asset to, to an NHL team. And when it comes to your style of goaltending a little bit, like, can you just talk a little bit about kind of what kind of goaltender a team is going to get if they draft you? Yeah, for sure. So I'm a competitor and you'll see it in practice. You'll see it in games. You'll see it on and off. Yeah, it's just in my nature. I want I compete and I, I love my job. I love stopping pucks. And I think it's it's pretty it's pretty um, present in my game, and you could see that almost by the way I move and by my passion I have for the game. Just every everything I do on the ice, you can see that I'm doing with purpose. And um, I I'm I'm a fast goalie and um, very athletic as well. And I base my game off a few NHL goalies that I watch all the time: UC Saros, Carey Price, Jordan Bennington, um, and and yeah. Absolutely. And this is more like you can comment on this. this is more of like just like kind of like. Um, this is more of like a comment rather than a question for me right now, but you can comment on it. But I mean, the one thing about you too, for players that know, and I, I know I ta I've talked to Clarkie about this as well, is, you know, and, and, other pl and other players that played with you at Carlton Place and even players that played with you at the World Junior A Challenge. I mean, one thing they say about Devin Levi is you just ooze character and character is kind of important to have in the dressing room. And you've seen a lot of players get drafted in the National Hockey League that, um, when their name was called, for example, Moritz Sider with Detroit last year and two years ago, Ty Delandre with Dallas, where they actually got drafted higher than people thought because they had great interviews, they oozed character, and people saw that. And people want to draft guys that have that big, good character and could be good in the room, and I think Devin Levi has that. I appreciate that. That's always but it's good. But it's important, right? Character is like is huge right now. Yeah, I mean, for sure, the the game of hockey is a team sport, and as much as everything about the game of hockey is important, character and and the way you approach the game and the way you act with your teammates and the way you conduct yourself is a big part of it as well. Absolutely, no, for sure, man. Well, Devin, thank you so much for coming on Pop Popternative, man. I really appreciate having you. I, I appreciate you having me. I always love these talks. No, absolutely. Um, where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Uh, so you can follow me on my Instagram page, dlevi underscore 33. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a, a Twitter account, but um, I'm mostly present on my Instagram page. Absolutely. And and you know what? what I, no matter what happens, I mean, the one goal, you know, whatever, whatever route it is, I mean, the goal is to get drafted. So no matter what happens, just enjoy the moment, man, because you deserve it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, this has been Pop Turn. If YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Devin Levi. And PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.